Hey, so I made some updates to the color adjustment project. Um, oops. Invert was already there. Uh, it just wasn't saved out as a patch. So that's done now. Um, it just inverts the color. Pretty handy. Um, the next one is a lerp. Uh, so if you look inside here, you'll see it's just like a shorthand for linear interpolation. Um, so you're, you're remapping the shadows and the highlights. Um, or not, not exactly, but something like that. So you can kind of boost the, the low end and then like constrain the high end. You get this like contrasty thing going on. Or you can even go further the other way if you want to just have general darkening. Um, so you might use this if you, if you just want like finer grain control than like just brightness. Uh, or contrast, something like that. Um, so I guess I made this and then I was like, well, the downside is like, if you push the values too hard, you'll, you'll notice that the saturation gets like pretty intense. Um, so I made a natural lerp. Uh, so you, you only shift one number. Um, but you'll notice it just gets kind of darker and the, the saturation doesn't go crazy like it did in the regular LERP. Um, there's kind of some magic numbers in here. Uh, so if you want to have finer grain control over this, you can play with these numbers. So, yeah, I'll put that back. Um, and then finally there's um, kind of similar idea, uh, this luminance contrast. So if you take a look at contrast, it kind of has that same problem with the saturation levels. Um, if you go really high with contrast, you'll see it just turns to like super saturated colors. But if you want the contrast without the saturation gain, um, you can do this. Um, and these are kind of some more magic numbers. So uh, you can, of course, go in here and, and play with this value that affects the uh, saturation. So if you want less, if you want more. Um, so I think, yeah, that's it. Um, hope this is useful for you guys. Um, yeah, see you on the next one.